The focus of attention now is across the Tigris River to West Mosul. Thousands upon thousands of civilians still live here, but this is the redoubt of Islamic State, where they will use the myriad of streets and alleyways to fight to the death. It is their last stand in Iraq. And the video you're about to see illustrates the type of people the Iraqi special forces are fighting. This is crazy, crazy stuff. He's high on adrenaline, maybe something else. One of the men uses his radio to urge other fighters on. They're putting so many rounds down, his weapon becomes super hot. But he keeps firing. We don't know what happens later, but they probably died here. We believe this little boy filmed the firefight. Dressed in military fatigues, he appears on the same tape. He's singing a song of going to war and killing people and defending the Islamic State. It is horrendously sad. We don't know where he is. It all took place here, the university. Special Forces found the camera and passed it to us. It was the headquarters of IS in Mosul. It's destroyed now. Iraqis say the buildings were set alight by Islamic State. Some are likely to have escaped this way, to a bridge over the river. It's now a scary no man's land. Rockets and mortars whistle overhead in both directions. Securing the bridges will be the key to taking the West. All of the bridges that cross the Tigris River linking east and west have been dropped. But they've done it in such a way that actually they can be mended temporarily at least quite quickly. And that's exactly what is intended to happen. The first troops coming from the south will go along the west side of the river, get to the bridges and start making them work. And then others can come over. Sounds very easy. It isn't, of course. 100% of the time they will be under fire, not just from machine guns and RPGs, but also suicide bombers. The first convoy of special forces Humvees and trucks are now being withdrawn from inside the city in preparation for the move on the western banks of the Tigris. Commanders say they're confident of success. I think, I think it's uh, simple. Why? Because the Daesh lose many, many commanders and many fighters on this side. And many command and control is destroyed. For example, in the university, it's big uh, command and control. And uh, the other side is a small area. It's not a big area. And many, many troops will uh, start or uh, begin in this uh, side. It's next step. The markets in Mosul are open again, a sign of the improving situation. A dressmaker works on his new collection for 2017. It's the first time in two years he hasn't made a dress that wasn't entirely black. Outside, he tells me it's nice to use colours again. And on a mannequin, they were banned as well. A clear sexual object, according to Islamic State. Banned as well, pretty colourful bangles and clothes. Now families are shopping again. Things are changing for certain, but the fighting here is far from over. The military is never far away. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Mosul.